Hello everyone, Carlos here for Keyboard Shortcut number 19, which is going to be about F2, F9. Two keystrokes that I use a lot when working with formulas, when I have to revise them, if, there, if, I, if I am asked to sort of um, improve, improve them or actually make something better, I, some, I go to these two keystrokes to evaluate the formula first. So for example, we just jump here to this section right here and say we, we remember we did uh, an average shift right here. So I can check the formula just by pressing F2 just to sort of enter into the cell and just to open the formula and check it out. But also with F9, you can actually move to one of the sections right here. For example, D, uh, for example, D2 with the dollar sign between, meaning that it's fixed. So it doesn't move up and down. And if I press F9, okay. Well, F9 actually evaluated that all the the whole formula, and I didn't I didn't want that, so I have to do I have to select that section right there. I do that selection right there. I select that portion of it, and then I do F9. So F9 kind of helps me to sort of calculate this part of the formula only, but I have to select it first. Okay, so F9 is kind of useful because now you're starting to see. Okay, so this is why evaluating not error or express error. Sorry. And then I do control C to back up and then I can actually check out this section right here and do F9. So a nice specify. Now the cells that are evaluating are right next to each other. That's no problem. But when you're like maybe far away from where you, there's the selection happening, F2 and F9 helps you to sort of calculate that part of the formula alone in order to understand what is being done there. So back up and then we can also do for ranges for, for example, order priority. You can select all this section and do F9 and you're going to see, okay, so all this is all the stuff that is actually the criteria range one is all about all these items. So just for scanning, you scan that and then you back up control C and then that's it. Okay. That's pretty much the trick. It's like going into the formula and then calculating part of it in order to understand it. Okay. This is maybe something that you want to get from, from uh, checking formula is to gain perspective, to see, to understand how the formula works, okay? How e e uh, every piece works, okay? That's pretty much it. What, what are they and what are they for and what are they useful for, okay? But then I think there's uh, something that I wanna add that is pretty much how to select a precise range of cells a bit faster, okay? What I mean by that is, for example, that, for example, we, we open this formula and once we get in, we get this message right here. And this is kind of cool because, for example, you can click on this part right here and you can click faster. Let me just zoom in. With your mouse, you can actually select this, these buttons right here. And I think it's way faster than using the keyboard. I mean, the keyboard, sorry. And that, that's a little bit uh, paradoxical, right? <laughs> but actually, because you have this part right here, you can actually do Criterion 1 and then F9. Okay, and then Control c and then you can go click Criterion 1, F9. Okay, so I think that interaction of clicking here on that part, I think it's very beneficial, okay? Combining it with F9 to calculate that part, because say that you have a very long formula, then the arguments are gonna be specified and you can click that and it will tell you what part of the formula that piece is, uh, what part of the formula or that argument or range for that argument of the, for, of the function or and then for the formula is based on. So clicking on this part, is kind of very helpful. For example, we can go to another formula here, maybe this one that has the indirect, and we do F2. See, for example, if we were to click inside of it, the indirect only has this, and it's that part right here. The indirect text is actually composing from double quotes before the D of data, all the way to the last bracket or the closing bracket. Okay, but if you were to click right here, now we're talking about that this indirect is part of the whole array of unique. So you can see that with this clicking kind of tells you that, okay, this formula, okay, all this indirect is actually composed of this array that is all is going for the unique. And now if I click unique, it's actually going for the count A or the value one of the count A. So it really kind of helps you to sort of explore and analyze the arguments or the part of the formula, okay? And hopefully uh, you can take out that, that you want to gain perspective of your formulas. You want to understand how all the pieces work. So that way, once you know or understand them, then you can actually take uh, the next step of improving, improving them. Okay. All right. So I'll see you for video number 20. And thank you for watching.